Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a special one because I have some news for you and I will tell you the news at the end so that if you're not interested in the news, um, here is the video on makeup basically. So today's video is on my products my that are going into heavy rotation basically I use them all the time and I have most of them on my face today so you know I don't have really time to do a tutorial so I'll just go um, through them with you uh, uh, I have a hair in my eye okay well first of all as you can see my hair is lighter I went to get it um, highlighted and I put in some cool highlights. Now the light doesn't really uh, show the real color, but um, if you follow me on Instagram, of course, you'll have seen that real life picture, sort of real life, I mean like the real color. But I really enjoyed it. It's really, really blonde now and um, with my root color, of course. You can see the highlights here. So I still have some redder, um, they're not really red, they're more like golden highlights from when I did my own highlights and then uh, she added in some cooler tones of highlights which is what you see, um, maybe you can see like this, yeah like this and yeah I'm back to blonde, back to how I've always been. I've, before, I think YouTube, when I started YouTube I started, get, I started with like dark brown hair, almost black and that's when I started to really you know, um, get off of this highlight, but I've always had highlights ever, ever since I was like a young girl that I could, you know, get highlights done. I, that's, you know, that's the look I had. I've always had like my root color plus the highlights. So I'm back to that. I'm happy and uh, it just makes me look younger and fresher and yeah, that's it. So, okay, so let's start basically by saying my foundation. Now my foundation routine is, I keep on turning, I have to stop turning. Um, foundation routine is what you see here and I've been like using this every day. I find that it's one of my, like I think it's gonna be one of my staples except for a little negative thing that I found out and and yeah, I'm gonna share that with you. So the first thing I do is I put on, uh, after of course I do all of my skincare, I put on this beautiful, beautiful foundation by Youngblood called Liquid Mineral Foundation C Deep Sea Hydrating Complex, rich in ocean minerals and nutrients, paraben free, yada yada. What I love most about this foundation, first of all, that it's extremely thin, a little bit thicker than the MAC face and body, and that um, the color. The color for me is sand. This is part of the, they have three colors for fair skin, and I actually have them all. Pebble, which I have, um, not the full size, just the sample, which is more on the pink side, so it's not for me. Then I have uh, shell, which is, light skin but yellow and this is sand which is extremely yellow and it has a little bit of like maybe a little bit of orangey in it too that's my skin this is what I love most about this foundation not only the texture as you can see is extremely light it has like a kind of a dewy satin finish on the skin uh, it's light to medium coverage a bit buildable and um, it's the perfect, the perfect color for my skin. So that's what I love about this. And I don't wear it on its own, of course. So I have that as a base. Then I don't powder my face with any other powder but the Young Blood um, Light Mineral Rice Setting Powder, which is made of cornstarch and rice powder. And it makes the biggest difference in the, um, the pores that I have and the length, the duration of my foundation. Now I could basically put on this first and then this, or put this on, then the rice powder, and then the mineral powder to give that flawless airbrushed look. Not every day do I do this. I usually just either go around with this or either go around with the mineral loose powder, but when I do combine the two, and that's what I've been doing lately, this is the airbrush finish that I get. 
Now this is in soft beige. I also have warm beige, but for winter I have soft beige, natural mineral loose powder. This is to me like, oh my God, it marries itself so well with this like yellowish kind of color, which is totally me. Like I'm totally fair, but so yellow, it's unbelievable. And I had no idea that I was like that. And now that I look back on it, many of my foundations were pink based in the past, but I'm saying like when I first, before YouTube days, and now I found out about this and it's so difficult to go back to any other foundation. For example, I just got the By Terry foundation. I tried it. it, I didn't like the texture first of all, and I didn't like the color on me. So anyway, this is great. I also had the Laura Mercier as you know, but I think this is for me superior. What I don't like about this and the Laura Mercier and many of the mineral foundations, that's why I'm thinking about not using this anymore, but you know, because I've been really getting into, well, you know, I've been, I've gone cruelty free, but you've also, you also don't know um, that I'm kind of getting into the green, non-toxic kind of products. I'm starting, I'm just starting. So I ordered a book called No More Dirty Looks because I saw a video by Effortlessly Chic Beauty. Um, she's a talent, she lives in Milan and you know, she's very, uh, I don't know, this woman, when she does like videos, she's so precise and in-depth to what she says. Sometimes actually I'm kind of like intimidated by her and I feel like I have to take notes or something because it's so professionally made, especially her past videos on skincare and like toxicity videos about what's good, what's bad, alcohol. And it's like, you know, with like PowerPoint and bullet points, I'm like, oh my God, I'm like back at like university or something, I gotta take notes, but she's amazing. Anyway, she got me into, cause she's doing the switch too from like normal products to organic. And she bought this book called No More Dirty Looks. So I bought it, unfortunately it didn't go through. And so I'm gonna repurchase it again, maybe when I go to Paris and stuff. So. It talks about so many toxic ingredients, one of which is bismuth oxychloride, which is in most of the um, mineral foundations, including the Laura Mercier, and that's what gives it that kind of sheen, dewy kind of look that we all love about, that I love about this mineral foundation. Well, bismuth oxychloride is a byproduct of lead and copper. And that's why a lot of women get that itchy feeling on their skin, especially when it's summer. I don't get that itchy feeling. However, in the long run, apparently it's not good for your skin. You know, back in the 50s, we used to think that, or people used to think that smoking was fine, and now we know what smoking does. Now we think that bismuth oxychloride is fine, but what's gonna happen in like 20 years? Already they're saying it's not good for your skin. And of course, if you put two and two together, you know, byproducts of lead and copper on your face, I don't know about that. But anyway, I'm gonna look into it more. For now, I have a lot of this powder foundation to finish, so we'll see. But this, these three, here you go, these three are my products on heavy rotation. What I use every day, I alternate the the type of, you know, finish that I want. Sometimes I just want a dewy light finish. Others, other times I want like a, a more airbrushed look like I have today. Then under my eyes, I've been using the Ellis Foss um, um, concealer in S202, cause it's too dark, but I love the texture of it, the consistency. I just dot it under my eyes, especially in the inner corner like that, and then I dot the other Touche uh, Terry, by Terry, Touche Velupte in the color one porcelain. This is too pink, so the two combine together. I also dot this big fat brush under my eyes like this, and then I pat in with my eyes. So these are it. Um, now, I have them on both today. This is Russet, and this is Peach Sparkle, Peach Sparkle. So inexpensive, I'll swatch them on my fingers. You need the slightest bit because they are so darn pigmented. Look at that, it's 
unbelievable I'll swatch him here it goes on look how beautifully even it goes on and the lasting power is unbelievable it lasts all day now I have like I said these two colors this you would think what you're so fair what the heck are you gonna do with that obviously you're gonna have to use a light fluffy brush to use these um, colors because they're so pigmented and so long lasting so much better than oh my god any of the like Chanel, Yves Saint Laurent like I've had them all and I'm telling you I'm sold on these La Femme blushes and I think they're like four euros each or something even even cheaper than that and the peach sparkle has a little bit of sparkle in it and so does the russet but when you apply it on the cheeks it's such just a magical kind of effect and long lasting and in you know I'm four years old 40 years old and I don't like matte on me at all so anyway that's these two blushes and the bronzer contour for me is the balm. Then this heavy rotation for my eyebrows, I just need to fill in a little bit here because, um, yeah, I'm getting older, so my bushy eyebrows are less and, you know, less full. So this is a WJ Con color, but you see it's like gray, so yeah, yeah, so nice, oh my gosh. Anyway, that's that. And then, as far as eyeshadows, I wear every day. I'm trying to finish up my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. And this is like a beautiful product, you know, but I'm not gonna use um, MAC anymore, so can't do that. And also, uh, Groundwork Pro Long Wear. And I use this as a crease color when I really wanna like do something quick. So I put that and then this in my crease. And the brush that I've been loving to do that with is my Sigma. This is a dupe for like the MAC 217 and it's the Sigma Blending E25. I love this brush. So anyway, when I apply that, um, then I basically put in my, um, what should I call it? Oh, Wet n Wild um, eyeshadow in Brûlé. This is just like the MAC Brûlé, it's unbelievable. It's beautiful, such a nice bone color. It's so beautiful. I put it everywhere on my lid. And then my most favorite eyeshadows for crease, as you know, I've mentioned them on Instagram, are these two. Are these two eyeshadows by Astra. Astra is an Italian brand. They are 250 each. And I find that they are, they're a little bit powdery, but doesn't matter, it's worth it. And this is what I have on in my crease. First I apply the lightest one, which is this one. And then I apply the, the darker, a little bit darker one. These are perfect, why? Because they're not too orange like the soft brown. I've had all the Mica shadows. And you know, texture, they're for me, for my eyes, they're too orange. I love them to look at them, but for me they're too orange. And there's never really, and others might be a little bit too cool. These are the perfection, perfection. So I don't know, I'm sure you can't find these unless you're Italian. If you can't find these, we shall, I shall be on the hunt for dupes for this. I've bought many backups because this is from a limited edition. Let me swatch them for you. So this is the lightest color. It's just like a sand kind of, Okay, the lighter one, the darker one, I don't know how to describe it. The perfect, like, sandy, not too red. So this is the lighter one, this is the darker one. Together, it's perfection in my crease because I've looked, been looking and been in love with the perfect crease color ever since I was probably 16 and I got into MAC. When I was 16, Madonna came out with her sex book and like pictures. And in that picture, I don't remember, she was kind of like a Marilyn Monroe type um, look. And for the first time in my life, I saw what was a cut crease. And I asked the uh, MAC uh, makeup artist at the Ogilvy counter in Montreal, can you please tell me what Madonna has in her crease? And she gave me 
taupe. This is what Madonna wore back in the day, like what, 92, 93? And this I find is, taupe was a little bit too gray, but for maybe for her it worked and for like the photographs it worked, but this to me replicates that look that I saw. You know when she was like hitchhiking, she had that blonde look, and there was another look also that I, anyway, it was black and white pictures, but she had the perfect cut crease. And this, to me, are the perfect crease colors for my skin tone. And I don't know, I find like they're like warm sand colors and not too red, not too ashy, just perfect. So there you go. That's it. And then uh, I always wear liquid eyeliner and the one that I love, love, love is the Youngblood the marron it's like basically brown it has like the thinnest point ever and so long lasting it lasts all day and it doesn't budge so i love that then for um lip liner i'm in love with this wj con lip liner in nude which is 01 and i use it you know this is it I use it in conjunction with all of my neutrals. Today I have the Clarins, these instant light uh, lip perfectors because I got to finish them. I have so many of them and I just basically contour my lips and then whack on any neutral lipstick and I'm done. Oh, I didn't tell you a very important thing. With my foundation, liquid and mineral, my go-to foundation brush is the Zoeva Buffer 104 that Frankie gave to me. And Frankie, if you're watching, please start doing your videos again. Anyway, he we swapped, he gave me this most beautiful brush to blend out foundation and especially mineral foundation. This, this is to die for. This right here, right here. And this brush does it. Another, uh, like uh, some other brushes, that I really adore are, as you know, my Everyday Mineral, the crease brush and the buffing brush. This I would not live without. And also my just painting brush, painter's brush. It's basically long and flat. And this is what I use my eyeshadows with. This is what I create the most beautiful cut crease. Because what I do with this is I flip it like this and I this is my cut crease basically I start here and I don't go down I bring it all the way out that it blends my contouring or my my bronzer so I totally to lift to elevate the 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 eye I just put these light colors which are the perfect colors right here right here I do not go down then with a darker color which is the um, the Ben Nye, I, you know, turn the brush and go in my crease. So this, for me, these three are fundamental to my eye look right now. And then, as you know, for my eyebrows, I brush them out. This is a Kiko spoolie. And uh, this is an e.l.f. Uh, I don't even know what it's called. Uh, defining eye brush it's a slanted and I use it for my eyebrows just in the corner I love that of course so yeah for highlighting of course heavy heavy rotation the physicians formula the um, powder palette mineral glow pearls yeah mineral glow pearls this is in the color translucent love this love this another thing that I love to just even everything out is my wet n wild bronzer in reserve your cabana which i use it as a like like a polisher it polishes my look and stuff and what else i'm turning around i think that's it yeah um i just wanted to get that out and you know just tell you that also i don't use any primers but i use this rice powder which makes the biggest difference and my, they're just all my loves. My loves and what I use on heavy rotation. Heavy, heavy rotation. And that's it. That brings me to my next um, little news here. Um, I end up, you know, answering all your messages. But some, maybe this time I will just put like XO, XO. And if you have a question, um, I'll answer the question as best as I can. 
you know, and it all depends. Maybe I have time, I don't know. So please, I get really, really annoyed when I can't answer your comments. But anyway, if it happens, know that I'm extremely busy and I'm just revolutionizing my life. And um, what I'm most excited for, obviously, is starting a new life with my companion, with my boyfriend but also the fact that I'm keeping this house and this is my home and we can come back together is what brings me the most joy because I'm starting a new life but not giving up my old, which all, which you all know that I liked. So, that, so I have the best of both worlds. Okay guys, I think that's enough. Um, and I've told you everything I've had. I had to tell you about my makeup. So. Anyway, it's going to be a long time, but I wish you all the best and enjoy, you know, this time and yeah, follow me on Instagram if you want to. So big hugs and kisses to all of you. Thank you for following and commenting. I love you all and I will see you in Paris. Bye guys.